Hey y'all, welcome. In this video, I'm sharing my 10 best luxury purchases for 2022. This has a wide range of things, not too wide, but I have some ready to wear, I have some jewelry, I have some bags, I have some shoes. So it's literally a conglomerate, a mixture of all of that stuff. So first I'm gonna start with these bodysuits. Now, these are from Walford. Y'all know how I feel about Walford. I used to pronounce it Wolford, but I think it's Walford. And I got these three. The blue one, I'm gonna try them on for you, don't worry. The blue one and the black one are identical. I'm gonna show you the red one last. They are just high quality. They are pricey, but they're worth the price. The ones, the other ones that I've had for a couple of years, I still have them. They still look like new. And I got these long sleeve ones, mock neck ones, and y'all know how I feel about lush or mesh and see-through bodysuits. They're absolutely amazing. And I actually got this one too recently, more recently. And this is a red one. This one is so sexy. I got it for Valentine's, maybe. I don't know, something. But I really like this one. This one comes in black too. But I just love how unique they are. They are distinguishable and they are just worth the money in my opinion. And you can often use discounts on different sites for these because they're not one of the bigger brands like Alexander McQueen and uh, Gucci and brands like that where you can't use site discounts. You can always use them on Wolford, usually like Mount Teresa, Louisa de Roma, etc. I'm just gonna continue with ready to wear since that's what we're discussing. Number two, so I figured it'd just be easier to insert some pictures, but next, this isn't quite luxury, but as you know, my definition of luxury is not necessarily price, it is the quality. And these bodysuits are outstanding. They are dupes for skins, bodysuits. They're that amazing. And they're specifically the ones I'm gonna link in the description box, but all of these bodysuits, I love them. They come in different colors, they come in different styles, whether you want V-neck, scoop neck, square neck, mock neck, tank, no matter what kind you want, they have them in so many different colors. They're so cheap. And like I told you, they are dupes for skims. So you don't, if you don't want to pay $60, $70 for a skims bodysuit, check out these from Amazon. Specifically these, they have different ones. I've experimented with a bunch of different types. And these I found are the best. They are the closest. And they're also, they're not super thin. You know, they actually have some structure to them. And they kind of hold you in if you need them to. All right, number three. Okay, so here's the deal with these. These Tom Ford leggings. Absolutely love them. I still have the, tie, the tag on them because I've got a larger size. Something told me to get a larger size. In those silk pajama pants, I normally wear small, but I was like, no, these are leggings. I'm probably gonna need a bigger size. So I got a size large and I was contemplating between a medium and a large. I was like, should I get the large? I know I have bigger thighs, bigger hips, but or whatever. And as you know, I'm postpartum. And they say your 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 while your stomach may go down with exercise, your hip bones or your hips may not because they stretch. You know, especially if you're having a baby vaginally, which I did. TMI for some of y'all, but I don't care. This is my channel. We're gonna talk stuff like that. Anyway, um, with that in mind, I was considering okay, if I continue to lose weight, what I need a medium or a large, and I didn't want to get a medium and be stuck with a medium and not being able to stretch it out. Versus if I get the large, you know, I could always get it altered. So sorry for my dogs in the background. They're downstairs. Anyway, I got the size large. I'm glad I did. I love this color. They're super stretchy and everything. And the ankles are the perfect um, width at the bottom. As I said, I still have the tag attached because I wasn't sure whether or not I would swap these out. I'm definitely going to keep the large now. I may as well cut this off just because I can get it altered. The medium, I can't widen if I need to. So yeah, that's those. These come in different colors, different jewel toned colors, like blue, gorgeous color, blue, pink, and I think black, and maybe something else, I forgot. But I'll link them for you. Last ready to wear piece. This has been not on my wish list that I've told y'all about, but something I've just wanted for years. And the fact that they, they keep doing all of these price increases every year and the price isn't going to go down, so I may as well just bite the bullet. I got this. I want the other color too. This is the Burberry Chelsea trench coat. It's the one that is tailored. <sighs> it just nips and tucks in all the right places. It's so flattering on. Now, I shall tell you, this is not true to size. Nowhere near, especially if you have curves. Nowhere near true to size. 
I originally sized up. Oh, I thought I did. I'm typically a US size six or eight, you know, UK 10, 12, you know, but I got a size eight, which is a size up, the higher size that I normally wear. No man. I ordered a 10, US size 10. No man. So I was just like, you know what? I don't have time to be playing with these people. You can't do exchanges. You have to pay for more than one at a time if you're sending one back and you want to order another one. So I ended up ordering a US size 14, which is a UK size 16. Perfect fit. I don't want my coat to fit exact. If I wanted to fit exact, size 10 would have actually been great. But their sizes don't really budge much as you increase, which is, you know, I guess because of the European fit and cut. But Perfect size. I thought about if I wanted to wear a sweater underneath, which I probably will. I'm not going to be just be wearing this with a tank top, okay? I needed to have some type of ability to be layered. So that's why I ended up with this size. Perfect fit. And I love it so much. I have added the cam or the tan one to my wishes as well. Maybe beige. I wish this came in camel, the Chelsea. I know they have the, the Kensington in the camel color, which that ain't tailored. It's okay fit, but I need this fit right here. And the camel, I know would be much more flattering on my skin tone, but I will deal with just the beige, just because I feel like some of the outfits I have, black is kind of too stark, and the camel or the beige color will look a lot more suitable. Love this. And also that's the mid length, it's not the long length. They have a longer length too, but I don't need them that long. I wanted my legs to feel to me, you know? Yeah. Number five. These Jock Moose hoops. Y'all know how I feel about a good hoop. Y'all know how I feel about gold. Y'all know how I feel about quirkiness. These are all the above. Perfect shapes. I just love how unique they are. And this brand has a strong tendency to always do different things. Things different from everyone else. I love these. You can also get these on sale too, or you can use discounts toward them, usually. Continue with jewelry. This is my Lana Jewelry Cross Ear Cuff. I basically wear this whenever I wear jewelry. It goes with anything. Even if I wear silver like I am today, I still wear this. It's just a nice ear cuff. Oops, where is it? <laughs> okay, here we go. I just love it. High quality, it's unique, and it's a part of me. I mean, y'all know I'm a Christian, whatever, so I love wearing this. I do. The only place I will tell you I did not wear it was Saudi. Saudi Arabia, when I went there earlier this year, because as you know, it's against the rules. That's an Islamic country. And of course, when I go to different places, I respect the culture. I don't go over there showing them what I am because ultimately they don't care. It's about them and you're there. You're in their space, you have to respect them. So that's the only place where I took it off because I didn't want anybody knowing I was a Christian. I mean, you can't openly display that. You're not supposed to get in trouble. So I've heard, but I had no problems with that. I mean, I was there to embrace them, so. Anyway, love this. It's starting to be one of my favorite jewelry brands. You notice in the trend? This triple strand bracelet. Oh, my nose is itching, sorry. It's actually a bracelet, but y'all know I extended it. I added a line of jewelry extender to make it an anklet. Love this so much. And I wore this too much that I had to get it repaired. I wore it for a few months. I worked out in it, I swam in it, I showered in it, and I was doing a burpee or something and I heard it snap. I was like, oh crap. And I got it from Neiman Marcus. They told me they could repair it. That's why I never took it off. I was like, okay, they said they could repair it. Had no idea it would take them three months to fix it, which it did. So if you buy jewelry from Neiman Marcus, keep that in mind. Next is a bag. It's actually the only bag on my list. I haven't bought that many bags this year, but this mini Jody. I can't believe in the past I had this in a video, bags I'll never buy. I had this in there. How crazy, how stupid of me. Some of y'all told me I was a mini Jody girl. I didn't listen, I ignored y'all. This has been a great bag in my collection. It has been worn more times than I can count, much more than I thought it would. It is white, it is classy, but it, it can also be casual. That's why it works so well in my collection and I did spray it and protect it with some leather protectant, just because I was afraid I was gonna wear it so much. Color was gonna get transferred to it or whatnot, but great purchase, great purchase. I want more colors, but I realized the price point of it now. I should have wanted it when it was in the thousands, in the single thousands. Now it's like 2,500 before tax, crazy. Two more things, both shoes. These are from Bottega Veneta. 
and it's these strappy sandals. These have been on my wish list for a while and I finally got them. I did size up a size, full size. I got these in black and white both. Did not pay full price. You can find these on sale. So I got these in a size 41. I typically wear 40. So these do not run true to size. This part is tight. Kind of like those lace up sandals that I had from Bottega, but love these. They're still comfortable, but keep in mind, you might not be able to wear them for hours and hours because this part will hurt if you have medium width feet or wider. I actually don't even know if this will work if you have wide feet. So keep that in mind if you decide to get these. I don't know. Last but certainly not least, I have some mules to show you. And they are from the Attico. I have these in two colors now. I have these hot pink ones and I have these hot lime yellow ones. Oh my gosh. Can't, do you see the shape of these? If you know me as a person, my style, my personality, you shouldn't be surprised that I got these. I love this funky heel. I love the square toe, which y'all know I love anyway from Bottega. Y'all shouldn't be surprised that I got these. I will tell you, the Bottega heel are, mules are much more comfortable than these. These are going to be more uncomfortable anyway because of the weirdness of them, but I don't care. These are one pair of shoes that I don't care. They're not extremely uncomfortable. They don't hurt like Christian Louboutins, but they are not as comfortable as the Bottega ones, possibly because there's nothing at the bottom of these. Also, I will tell you, you have to size up. They do not run true to size. My neon yellow ones are actually a 42. These are 41 and a half. They both work. Both work. The 42 works slightly better, but my feet still fit in these. So just something to keep in mind with sizing issues. Also, these you have to get when you see them in your size, especially if, if especially if you wear a larger size like I do. You have to get them when you see them because you will not see them again for a long time, if at all. Those are my best luxury purchases of 2022. I honestly don't know if I can do 10 worst because honestly, I was more aware of what I purchased this year and there are not many pieces I bought that I don't like, but I will see. I'll have to look and see if there's something that was the worst purchase. I don't know. I don't think there was though, because I'm a lot more strategic about what I get now. I don't just go spending money because I have a baby now and I was smarter about my purchases, at least I think so. So let me know if you bought something that's on my list, if there's something that you like in my collection that I bought this year that you know of that should be on the list, let me know too. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching.